الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد اي الحبت في الله make dua for your brothers and sisters in china and your brothers and sisters all around the world wherever they may be oppressed and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the dua of the one who is oppressed is answered so if we were to look into the affairs of the muslims in many many places our brothers and sisters in palestine or philistine and all throughout the world where they're being oppressed whether it be oppressed by muslim forces or non-muslim forces uh the dua of the one being oppressed is answered by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and oppression only helps to bring about extremism because when a person has no room to practice their faith or their faith is belittled and they are subjugated and ostracized in their faith then of course you create the environment and no doubt we see now with all the fitna that's going on around the world we see a lot of things coming to back coming back to bite those people who were oppressive for example the results of colon isis and groups like this they are in part the result of colonialism but this is not the time nor place to get into that so make dua for your brothers and sisters i just wanted to share this information uh in the article it says china has forced the imams of ying yang to dance in the street or however you pronounce it and swear to an oath they will not teach religion to children as well as telling them that prayer is harmful to the soul wa iyadun billah in china imams are being forced to dance at the same time being made to make an oath to keep children away from religion public servants are forced to brandish the slogan that our income comes from the ckp which is the chinese state not from a law wa iyadun billah min kufr wa dhalal the imams of the mosque in this place have been forced to gather in a square dancing in mass state chinese news have said that in the name of civilization the imams have been forced to dance in the town square at the same time they were forced to chant out slogans such as peace of the country gives peace to the soul many of the imams were forcibly given chinese flags the same demonstration also included university students during the speeches young people were told to stay away from uh, mosques and the prayer was harmful to the to one's health and instead were encouraged to dance female teachers were instructed to teach children to stay away from religious education and made to swear an oath that they will keep children again young people uh during speeches young people were told to stay away from mosque and that the prayer was harmful to one's health and instead were encouraged to dance female teachers were instructed to teach children to stay away from religious education and made to swear an oath that they will keep children away from religion and we ask Allah the Almighty to protect us and preserve the Muslims everywhere and help the Muslims everywhere guide the Muslims everywhere there is no doubt that our brothers and sisters have been forced beyond their and they are being oppressed and Islam is being suppressed so we hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we have no doubt that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will raise another generation of Muslims there in China who maybe at one point in time will be the leaders of China bi'idnillah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam